Uh, so first I'd like to introduce our speaker, Lachlan Evans. Lachlan is, this is Lachlan's first year of involvement in KidX, and through Lachlan's time, um, there's been a clear demonstration of passion for research and discovery. Lachlan has never been at a loss to recall some obscure scientific fact during our KidX catch-ups, and today Lachlan will be presenting some words on vaping, how we can stop before we start. Lachlan, I'd like to welcome you to the stage. Everyone, please put your hands together. Vaping, how can we stop kids before they start? Did you know that 14% of Aussie children have admitted to trying vaping? Yes, 14% and 32% of adults worldwide have admitted to trying vaping. Hello, my name is Lachlan Evans and I'm currently a year seven at the Legion College Sunbury. When I was in grade six, two girls at my school were suspended for vaping. This came as quite a shock to me as I'd barely even known anything about vapes apart from how bad it was for your body. There are several ways to prevent kids from taking up vaping. The approach that I think would be best is education. Yes, education, because I barely even know well, because I barely even know what a vape looks like, and if you teach kids something that is bad from a young age, they will grow up knowing that and fearing that. Helping people learn and discouraging them from engaging in bad actions to benefit themselves and their community. Yeah. And we need to teach them not just in high schools, but we need them in primary schools as well, because by the time they get to high school, it may be too late. They may have been peer pressured or just have been curious. And by then, the damage is done. Vaping poses several health risks, especially for young people, and can lead to addiction, cognitive function impairment, heart health issues, exposure to harmful chemicals, and negative and social and behavioural effects. The Australian government has put in place strict regulations to prevent children from accessing and being attracted to vaping products, including age restrictions and packaging requirements. Nicotine levels in vaping liquids are heavily regulated in Australia, and possession or sale of, of vaping liquids containing nicotine without a prescription is illegal. E-cigarettes often contain highly addictive nicotine and regular use during adolescence can lead to long-term addiction and interfere with brain development. Teenagers using e-cigarettes are likelier to try other tobacco products and substances like regular cigarettes and marijuana. The long-term health effects of vaping, especially for young individuals, are not fully understood and vaping pro products may contain dangerous chemicals such as formaldehyde, the are uh, toxic and can harm different organs and systems within the body. And we still do not know the full effects as it is a relatively new thing, but a new document has come out from a doctor in Britain talking about vapors' tongues and where they lose taste and get dry mouth. Last week at a school near Geelong, a 13-year-old was found unconscious in the school toilets. The ambulance was called and the teenager was hospitalized. When Dr. Sandro De Mayo, the chief executive of Vic Health, was asked why vaping can use unconsciousness, he said that it is due to the highly dangerous toxins. There are up to 200 chemicals used, and some of them are used in paint strippers. The rise in vaping triggers asthma, seizures, disillusions, and vomiting. He said that the toxins enter the lungs and the brain tissue in a couple of seconds and will have long-term effects on brain development. The concentration of chemicals in young kids has serious effects as they are using high, them in high quantities. Hospitals have even reported kin, kids drinking the vape juice. In New South Wales, there has been a doubling in reports made to the poison hotline. The sad fact is that two out of three Victorian kids know somebody that is addicted to vaping. I believe it is important to introduce certain topics to children at a young age to prevent them from engaging in what could negatively impact their future. Educating them early on can ensure a more fulfilling life for them. Consider the long-term effects and actions as they may have unknown consequences. Possible risks include development of a new disease that could harm people. Plus, the already existing side effects of smoking are bad enough, so what if vaping makes it worse? Vaping could completely destroy your immune system if you do it constantly. And this could also lead to you to be more susceptible to all the different types of cancer that just smoking can cause. 
In conclusion, it is important that young, that we take care that we take action to educate young people on the harmful impact of vaping. We need to ensure that kids understand the risks associated with vaping and make educated decisions about their health. We need to spread awareness about the dangers of vaping to protect them from making that mistake. Even dedicating just 15 to 30 minutes per week or a month in schools can help make a difference in helping people make the right decision. Let's work together to, and take educational measures such as adding e-cigarette and cigarette discussions in schools to help kids make the right decision. So this is how we can stop it before they start it.